Oh, yeah, this was the drama. The situation drama. yesterday where streamer Kai Sinat was basically being held ransom. Virtually, that is, by an OF girl slash corn star named Layla Red. These two apparently had a relationship at some point last year after he met her during a stream. Hey, where you at? You ain't here with me? I'm in the A2. Oh, not with me, though. I know, that's why, that's why we here. Say on God. And I guess things eventually got deeper for them, but she's so dumb that she didn't use the blackmail against him correctly. She skipped way too many steps and went right to trying to expose him to the public. Not to even mention this man made her sign an NDA. Bro, this so clown has made videos about you? Okay, well, I don't even know he existed until this very moment. Who gives a f Kai made his own video, but you would have to watch. You would have to deal with chat calling Kai annoying. So just watch this, Lamau. Yeah. Well, chat's calling him annoying too. What she has done is illegal. She's saying things like Kai owes her hush money and that he allegedly even paid for her to sleep with him. Well, I mean, since I don't I'm know why so many people just like hold on to NDAs as though they're like the iron cra uh, clad rule of law. Although she is in the wrong, as far as I understand, for what she did. Why does every Dude, NDAs online are hailed as like this superpower. I don't know why so many dummies in the comment section of any and every f story, you will see 1,000 comments about like, uh -huh, lol, good luck getting owned because you violated your NDA. No, dude, NDAs are rarely f enforceable if you have a decent lawyer. That's number one. Number two, she did something <clears throat> way worse than a an NDA a violation. She filmed this dude sleeping, like I'm pretty sure naked, against his consent and leaked the footage. What the f do you mean? That's just straight up revenge and extortion. That is definitely way more criminal than violating the uh, the NDA or whatever. I as well leak the dudes, the Addy, the videos. But you gotta hit that link in my bio. Video comes soon. This woman reminds Yeah, she's talking about how she's gonna like leak the videos. <laughs> and even his address or whatever. Like that's insane. It's me that's a lot extortion. of that other corn star that tried to expose Zion Williamson last year. Now when it comes to Kai, he did the best thing possible and immediately responded to these allegations. And it turned into a pretty great reverse Uno moment. So this was the initial post that I saw about this situation. She came forward with this via Twitter. When Kai know what to do to get you to come around and then... And then she posted this, like, I guess, doctored image uh, acting like Kai was paying her five grand a pop. Full video of me and Kai Sinat link in bio. It was so good, too. He came forward with this via Twitter. She also says when Kai know what to do when you come around. And this is where this $5,000 Apple payment allegation comes from, where she claims he was paying for the goodies. Now, this is Kai's initial response. He would go on to absolutely flame her throughout the day. Here he's showing his Apple payment history. She saved that Layla Red in my phone. Oh, God. You're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush, I'm on you now. Can you have a rush? We don't we call you KR now. I right? go to November. Stop! Stop! So as you guys can see, they're in the Apple Pay history. Layla Red for $50, okay? And I guess he's basically trying to say here, no, I did not pay to smash some old retired corn star turned OF washed up. Here's what I don't understand. I personally don't understand why these dudes i guess maybe because they're young why they end up making these terrible mistakes i have dated sex workers i've hooked up with sex workers like you need to have a better judge of character in general it's wild obviously this is not how all sex workers are in every single group you're going you're going to find a person that's just not a good person in general and it's so weird it's so weird to me that like someone who is entertaining like kai it can't be a better judge of character I get this from, um, I don't know, the fresh and fit guys who go to like the sugar baby websites and troll those websites for podcast hosts and for girlfriends and whatnot that they pay for. Then they turn around and they're like, all women are like this. And it's like, no, you're specifically looking for a service. And then you turn around and you shit on the people that are offering that service to you. But like for Kai, I don't think he has to go this route at all. It just doesn't make any sense, bro. Sometimes you can't read the crazy for a minute. No, you could read read the crazy from the jump in that situation woman all i paid for was the trip home lay off the rent 50 dollars for your dumb ass uber bitch. i got your uber bitch. 50 dollars what you talk about 
So obviously Kai was beyond outraged in this situation, and he's really trying to go the extra mile here to not only clear his name, but to also expose this corn star. And I guess this was her response to him saying that all he paid corn star. I mean, besides money, is Kai really a cash? He's got the crazy sort of victim blaming. What am I victim blaming Kai? I'm just saying that I'm shocked that I would not have expected him to to hook up with a with a person who would like end up blackmailing them like this because they seem like you know this is something I expect from the fresh and fit uh from the fresh and fit dudes. And no, Kai is a victim in this situation. Don't act like he's not a victim just because he's rich or the man. The f do you mean? He apps. What are you? What are you guys talking about? This person literally said that she would leak his address, leak his phone number, and I think she did leak his phone number, tried to f extort him. What 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 could this woman have done for some of these chatters in here to like agree that the rich man in this circumstance is the victim? She leaked his fucking nudes. Like she literally she literally is doing both revenge and also on top of that, like a shit ton of, of boundary breaking. Oh, I don't care. My man's getting his karma. God's plan. You guys are insane dude like that that is actually wild like what what would have been uh sufficient enough for you to to see kai as a victim in the situation if she killed him if she like stabbed him or something is that one when, when it would be uh valid like that's crazy now here's where she continues to post this photo of kai not nude in bed it looks like she trying to sue me after buying pussy is wild lol you going to jail too clown you breached the contract so i guess i did yo bitch ass be in a cell right he next took this to me picture while this man was sleeping and he basically has his junk out and yes this would qualify as revenge corn she says, trying to sue me after buying p is wild. LOL, you go into jail too, clown. You breached the contract, and so did I. Guess your bitch ass a be in a cell right next to me. And she would even take to TikTok to drop this video response to Kai. Everybody keep asking me about all this. Why does she think that this is going to, I guess, help her uh, in any capacity? I don't know. I genuinely don't get it. Like, I, I, she's just putting herself in a worse position, legally speaking. Like, she's not even a good hustler if she is hustling here, you know? See, he's not showing y'all shit from this year. I showed y'all last year and this year. He's just showing y'all last year and he's showing from another iCloud. See, that's how dumb it is. It's a whole nother iCloud, shorty. I'm showing proof from our most recent leak up, which was three weeks ago. Now, to be fair to her, do I think that someone with as much money, clout, and status as Kai Sinat would only have one phone that he's doing Apple Pay on? Absolutely not. Where he paid me to delete anything that I had on him, which was the agreement. And I was cool with that. Wait, so did he pay you to delete information about him or did he pay you to sleep with him? Because you're alleging two different things right now. Your story really is not adding up. You gotta understand, like, I'm in the industry. Everything I get is insurance. Period, point blank. I don't know y'all. I don't give a fuck. And I'm gonna always protect myself at the end of the day. So, yes, I did collect. Son, you're an actual himbo. You've never encountered crazy like this. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I have, uh, I try to stay away. Insurance, you damn right, just like he did when he recorded my voice. And the insurance she's talking about is all these different materials that she had to expose him, like that picture of him laying naked asleep in bed. I mean, when it comes to Kai, he was just an absolute idiot for messing around with someone like this. Like, the saying is very true. You lay down with dogs and you're likely gonna get fleas. To act like you didn't pay me, bitch, now you got me stuff, and now I gotta expose you. So basically what this woman is saying is that she wants to be viewed as a hooker. She wants to be viewed as someone who is down for the pay for play. I don't think that's the flex that she thinks it is. I am about to post the transaction ID for the payment that you just recently made to me. I mean, does anyone really care if Kai went out and was tricking on this chick? Absolutely not. Entertainers, athletes, people of status, they're doing this stuff every single day to all kinds of women. Normal women, industry women, corn stars. I mean, for these type of chicks, I have to believe that's kind of like their whole game. Stop acting like you don't know why I'm doing this right now. This guy is out of control. He just thinks that like, yeah, dude, every person that does porn is always like leaking revenge porn and extorting people that they fuck. How do you fucking cover a situation like this where one party has been wronged and you as the supposedly partial or impartial, unbiased or biased arbiter, like where you're just communicating what's going on and you just still come across like a, a fucking wrong and bad it is shocking yeah except as far as sex workers goes sex workers do deal in secrecy for uh, one legal scrutiny reasons and two the age-old adage is true the it's relatively misogynistic thing to say but you don't you don't pay him to fuck you you pay him to leave or whatever but like technically the the payment in that situation is is both for safety purposes like i mean or the the privacy in that situation is is a part of the payment it's it's for safety and discretion yeah these hookers doing corn He's riding Kai's dick more than she did. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, the 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 TikTok corn star thing is so silly. Everything was cool until you didn't want to pay me my money, my hush money, and that's when it became a problem. You made this a problem. I can't lie to you guys. This has to be one of the dumbest individuals that we've ever seen on my channel. Like she's trying to expose him, but the whole time she's just exposing herself and her potential mini crimes. Thank you for giving yourself another charge, dumb. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She even went out of her way to leak this man's number. All right, here's the screen record for you guys. That's insane. Like, this is a complete psychopath, by the way. Up, down. Message. Whoop. Didn't have to lie. And this clip right here would actually result in her getting banned from Instagram, which I'm sure like all the other OF girls, when it comes to promoting her page, you know, OF and Instagram go together like bread and butter. That's where they lure in all the simps. See, if I just would've got my money, I would've shut up. Well, you're definitely not gonna get your money now, chick. As a matter of fact, I think you're gonna be sending portions of- You're definitely not gonna get your money now, chick. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I can't get over this fucking dude. Well, let me tell you, chick. <laughs> You're not getting your money now, shigga tits. That's right, uh, a dumb broad. <laughs> bro, bro, bro brought back the fucking 60s with the, with the commentary. Hell yeah. Let me tell you now, sugar tits. A floozy in our mitts. That's right. Beat it, tits. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Not even the 60s. Like, yeah, more transatlantic accent. Talking over the side of his mouth. Of your paycheck to Kai Sanat for quite some time. And honestly, crashing out over... Why are you shitting on him? He's just trying his best. If you don't like it, then don't watch. I mean, this is the first video that someone sent me, honestly. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm doing enough commentary that it's definitely fair use. So both on uh, both on his commentary, but also the issue that he's talking about as well. Like 5,000 bucks is definitely not fucking worth it. Now, this is where Kai Sinat really becomes a savage in this situation. He took a page out of 50 Cent's book, and he's being extra petty with the people trying to play with his name. So Layla, I have bought your domain. Bro, it feels like it literally feels like he's just mad he didn't get the fuck kai <laughs> he's like let me tell you something i would have done it for free bro <laughs> kai please bro i would have done it for free man please now you might ask what does that mean kai it means every time somebody types in kiara rush anytime somebody types in Lalo red the first website that they will click on is all the lies you've told me all the crimes you've done all the dumb shit you've that's a weird thing to do because now you're just bringing more attention to this. Just put yourself in to f up your life. So, no, your OF link won't pop up first. <laughs> no, 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 anything like that won't pop up first. Oh, no, 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 no. The top link will be Kiana Rush, okay? Showing everything that you've done. So, obviously, the man is playing chess while this woman is out here not even playing checkers, okay? This bitch is playing like tic tac toe. And this is what you see when you go to these websites that Kaiser not set up. Kiana Rush.com. <gasps> oh my god! We got you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every single clip for anybody who messes up. Oh, wait, I don't know Kiawa's real name. Hold on, we don't know it. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> no matter what, for the rest of your life, this will be here. I mean, I won't lie to you guys. That is a pretty damn good power play right there. And apparently, Kai was even out here smoking on that Layla Red Pack, dancing around. I don't know. This whole shit is hilarious. I mean, she really thought she was going to make him look bad. And she really kind of just turned this into a W for him. And then she has the audacity to try and allege some very serious allegations against him, even if it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek here oh we taking people to court well she is i'm ready to take you to court little p diddy jr you talking about you tried to sell me to one of your homies and all that shit don't forget about it. i got all that in the t2 so she's calling him p diddy jr insinuating that he is a trafficker because he went to one of his boys and told people what she's all about i mean clearly she prides herself on being pay for play but now she wants to act like it's some sort of diddy situation when it's convenient this is so gross it's like one of these situations where i'm just like uh ugh, i should have never have it i should have never even looked into it the coverage of this is awful too anyway the whole point is uh watch out bro this youtuber is gonna make a video titled twitch's biggest fake socials if you shit on him too hard i'm 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 suspecting that he's already done that but yeah brother uh is all i gotta say to this i think uh it's zoomer drama no i mean the whole point is the the whole point is like she did do some fucked up ass shit uh and i i think that it's ridiculous i when i first found out about it i was shocked that kai sanat that has, has so much to lose be dumb enough to link up with a girl like this 100 percent, and not because she's a corn star or whatever the fuck these guys are saying i don't give a fuck about that but there are plenty of decent k 
kind and overall nice uh, sex workers who would not do some shit like this at all. She is uh, obviously a very awful person and is making a lot of people look bad. How did you want him to know she was going to do that, though? I mean, not to this degree. I don't think anyone would have thought that she would do anything to this degree. This is, like, completely fucking unhinged. Convenient for her, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Come on now, y'all. Of course he was going to come back with a story saying he's going to sue me. How else was he going to look good to the blog? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. And you're what? A certified hooker and proud of it? Truly do not understand how an individual... Anyway, like, all I'm saying is be safe. This is silly. Do you think she's telling the truth that she's doing it because he didn't pay her? I think even if she was telling the truth and he didn't pay her, like, $5,000, what she's doing is infinitely worse. Damn, dog, you're riding the coattails of others to get clout? Me? Or are you talking to this guy? She could start a defamation lawsuit that can make things even worse? No, it's just like... Ugh, I'm, I'm moving away from this video. Honestly, it's just that, like, she's obviously a bad person, but even if he didn't pay her, what she did is, like, ridiculous, what she did is illegal, what she did is, like, totally unacceptable, fucked up. I don't know what else to say about it other than, you know, a bad person for doing all that shit. Even if he had it, oh, fuck, room cam. You guys got a little sight of Marat eating in the background. Um, I unlocked the wrong thing instead of the Chatterino. Where the fuck is the Chatterino? Oh, there it is. No, you're not. What are you eating? Nice. Marat's eating sushi. Marat's having white girl dinner he said but yeah um as a meme format it's just it's i don't understand it i don't understand it at all i don't understand how the fuck he he's like out here hooking up with girls like this all right while we wait what is this there's a kai Sinat drama as well that i was out there mocking jamaica bro a nigga that's not from jamaica gonna make a tweet and everybody and everybody right and everybody um under it and shit was agreeing was saying that don't. what i was doing in jamaica don't was do not it. culture bro let me tell you something bro let me uh-oh. Kai Sinat is now at a point in his career where he's got Twitter chirpers. That's not good. That's not good. It's only downhill from here. Don't respond to them. Don't do it. A bunch of people call Kai gay because he's acting too straight in Jamaica. Yeah, well, I mean, they think Kai is gay now, so people are turning on him. Wait, what? They think he's gay? That's so funny. Wait, why do they think he's gay? Bro, you're talking to... Okay, this is the people that don't know me. You're talking to a son of a, 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 son of a mother who's from Trinidad and Tobago. P now the Caribbean. My pops is Haitian. I grew up eating straight roti, um, rice and peas, China, bust up shot, curry goat, oxtail, um, jerk shit. I grew up eating all that. You feel me? I grew up eating all that. Then I had a group of six people in my school who were straight Jamaican. Why you keep thinking I keep saying I'm from Spanish town? I had friends growing up that was strictly from Spanish town, Kingston, Portmore. I was rushing home after school with my Jamaican friends to go play. Oh, no. Dominoes, Ludi. I was playing Ludi every day after school. She had chore number six like Ludi. No cap. And a lot of y'all niggas don't even know what Ludi is. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Uh, like, I mean, I guess he's saying that like he's more tapped in the Jamaican culture or something. What the fuck? Why are people chirping at him? They're mad that he was what? Because he was acting like this. What the fuck is this, bro? Jesus Christ! I fucking hate Twitter so goddamn much, bro. God damn it! It's so nasty top reply blue check mark elon musk i hate you so goddamn much i swear to god fix your fucking platform bro they're mad because he was acting like this and they were saying he was letting his friends bash the culture Wait, why was he bastardizing the culture? What? Can a Taiwanese boy do some daggering? I don't get it. I heard there were cultural appropriation accusations. It's just like he's in Jamaica, surrounded by Jamaican people, daggering Jamaican people. Why the fuck are Americans mad? I just don't understand why people are... I, I don't get why people are mad at him. I think mainly Jamaican people on Black Twitter were mad because they didn't want the general public thinking this was representative of Jamaican culture. I think it is Black Twitter. Wait, really? Okay. Shonda Black, our Black Zoomer core correspondent has chimed in and said he thinks it's black twitter okay if it's black twitter i side with black twitter i'm so sorry uh, yes kai is wrong <laughs> Please don't yell at me. I'm so sorry. I think like a lot of Americans in general have this like weird notion that people in the actual nations have the same attitudes about these sorts of things and how it will be received as people that live in America do. And in many instances, that's like, uh, it's just not the case. I guess the example I will always give is the cultural split between uh, Asian Americans, specifically Japanese Americans.
Oh, there it is. Walking Dead, the Telltale game has now been downloaded, which I will be playing. But it's uh, it's specifically, it's specifically like Japanese Americans love, or not Japanese Americans, Japanese people love white people wearing kimonos, whereas Japanese Americans hate it or used to. I don't think they care about it as much, but there was like a lot of chirping about people wearing kimonos and shit way back in the day. Or Mexicans? No, Mexicans don't give a fuck. <laughs> Mexicans, Turks, I don't think they give a fuck. They don't care. Mexicans, as far as I know, don't even give a shit when like a depiction of a of a Mexican is even racist. Like they like <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez is like a like a cherished figure, even amongst Chicanos. You know what I mean? They, they just they think it's sick. <laughs> They're like, hey, at least people are paying attention to us. Yeah. Turks are similar as well, where they just they love when a turkey is mentioned. As long as you don't call them Arab, most Turks will be super excited. There's even a term for it most of them is are we at the table they love they fucking love being mentioned turks i mean they they think it's dope <laughs> they think it's awesome this tweet is calling kai gay he's so gay is obvious is so obvious i don't think this person is even home this person's not homophobic though are they maybe also jamaica seems awesome dude what the fuck same with filipinos too we will literally go nuts every time we see an ounce of representation or in mentions yeah yeah i don't think kai should have responded to this shit never respond to twitter <laughs> There's one professional take that I have that's the most prescient that I always violate. Honestly, the most offensive part about the situation is Aiden Ross is there. Wait, what? Aiden Ross was there? Wait, Aiden is there? Wait, what? Oh, he is? I think this neo-Nazi being here is a much bigger issue than Kai. The guy's basically a white supremacist. I mean, popped off. King. Correct. Aiden Ross in Jamaica, scaring the huzz. 